Hi Goggle, what's up? Why do you look so confused? Oh, hi Toggle. Oh, it's a good thing you're here. Look, there are so many devices attached to this computer. Yes, Goggle, I can see that. I was just wondering which of these are input devices and which are output devices. But before we get there, can you first recall what input devices are? Oh yes, Toggle, I remember. The devices through which we enter data and instructions into a computer are known as input devices. Absolutely, Goggle. Now tell me, which of the input devices are you familiar with? The input devices that I know are the keyboard and the mouse. That's right, Goggle. Seems like you've been studying. Thanks, Toggle. Goggle, as you're familiar with a keyboard, can you tell me what is it used for? Sure, Toggle. We use a keyboard to enter data or text into the computer by pressing different keys. Correct, Goggle. The keyboard keys are similar to the ones that we see on a typewriter. But then it has some extra keys such as the shift key, the function keys and the arrow keys which are used for various operations. Yes, Toggle, I know that. Very good, Goggle. You remember the uses of a mouse as well. Yes, a mouse is another input device and we use it to select objects and text and to draw pictures on the computer. Right, Goggle. You will notice that a mouse has two or more buttons. You use these buttons to perform operations such as selecting and dragging objects on the screen. And did you know that nowadays a wireless or cordless mouse is also available? There is no cord connecting it to the computer. A mouse with no cord? That's amazing, Toggle! Goggle, you should know that besides the keyboard and mouse, there are other input devices too. Is that so, Toggle? Now, look at this device. This is a trackball. Trackball? What is that used for? A trackball works in quite the same way as a mouse does. It has a ball on the top which is rolled with a finger to move the pointer on the screen. But Toggle, how is a trackball any better than a mouse? A trackball is better than a mouse for playing computer games. Got that Toggle? Look, what is this here? That's a joystick. A joystick is also an input device. You know, this device is best suited for playing games on a computer. But Toggle, I can play the games even using a keyboard. Sure you can Goggle. But a joystick makes it easier to play the games by giving you better control. Oh, I see. Toggle, look here. I think this is a web camera. Right, Goggle. A webcam is also an input device. It is used for video chatting and video conferencing where you can see the person you are speaking with. Okay, Toggle. See. Don't we look smart? <laughs> yeah. What is that device called, Toggle? That is a scanner. It is a very useful input device. And what does it do? It allows us to transfer photos, hand-drawn pictures and text to the computer. Wow! That's a really useful device. Goggle, apart from the input devices you see here, there are others too. Well, which ones are those? The first one is a light pen. A light pen? Is it some kind of pen that produces light? <laughs> no, Goggle. A light pen does look like a pen, but it is actually an input device that is used to draw objects directly on the screen. It is used by engineers, architects and designers. Wow! Say cheese, Goggle! What? You want to click my picture with your digital camera? Yes, but I also want to tell you 
that a digital camera is an input device as well. The pictures you click with this camera can be transferred to your computer. That's great, Toggle. Oh, and let's not forget the microphone. It is also an input device and can be used to record your own voice. Oh, really? Can I use it to record my voice? <laughs> sure you can, Goggle. Wow! Oh, it's 11 o'clock already. Time for my maths class. Gotta go. Bye, Toggle, and thanks. Bye, Goggle.